Chandler and I get to the milestone. Here we go. This one. Yeah, it's gone all the way. Look at the celebration from one of the old timers in his 250th. He smoked it for six and gone to three figures. Oh, it doesn't get any better. Yeah, he knows it. Well played. Take a bow. Wonderful stuff. There were question marks just before the toss about whether he was going to play. Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Royal Stag Mega Cricket Cup Series. Coming to you again from Palakili's International Cricket Stadium, Sri Lanka hosting New Zealand. Time for the toss out in the middle with the two captains, Mahela Jai Wardener from Sri Lanka, Ross Taylor from New Zealand and the match referee is Andy Pycroft from Zimbabwe. Mahela? Tails is the call. You've got a head. Mahela won the toss, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to bowl first. Uh, I just, the wicket looks uh, pretty good, but the weather's around, we need to make sure that you know, we uh, you know, have hand, heads up on the duck with Lewis. I was going to say, that decision to feel first, I guess batting second gives you a little bit of an advantage like you saw the other night, doesn't it? Yeah, just a little bit, not, not a lot, but uh, at least you know where you need to be, um, you know, after 20 overs and, you know, try and play for that, you know, it, it's tough to predict when the weather's going to come around, so uh, the wicket played really well the other day, throughout the day, so I hope, you know, it'll stay the same and try and restrict them to a, to a decent score. Ross, I guess maybe some obvious concerns um, having to bat first, um, similar to the other night? Yeah, I think so. I think it's going to rain today. We just don't know when it is going to rain. Uh, at least the last game uh, was big blue when, when we did the toss, but once again, we need to get off to a good start, keep wickets in hand and, um, you know, utilise these new rules um, in the batsman's favour. Result aside, you must have been happy with the team performance the other night. I'm guessing especially the batting performance to put 250 on the board against the side. Yeah, I think that was a high score by a New Zealand team in Sri Lanka, so we've got to take the positives from that. But, uh, you know, we've still got a few rooms, uh, room to improve. We've got a couple of new changes in the side, and hopefully they, they can uh, bring uh, their experience to the table. Enjoy the way Watlin played the other night. Looks a useful I, I, I certainly did. I thought he was a very busy player. Looked good on both sides of the pitch. Played some very good shots. And I like the way he constructed his innings. I mean, he was not overawed by the situation. There was a quick wicket that uh, was fallen. Straight away on the money. Two slips and a backward point in position. Edge, did that carry? Mahela J. Wardner thinks it did. Rob Nichols not so convinced. He's heading towards the pavilion now. Two umpires are going to have a chat about it. Nichols holds his ground for a second. Quick single. That's well taken. Well, I think that's hit the bat of McCullum. It's going to go for uh, four, so that'll be five to the total. And uh, a little bit of good fortune. Well, the first boundary does come. But uh, I've got to say, it's the twin brother of the other one. And this is the first boundary, true boundary, rather than the deflection we saw in the previous over. Uh, it's a big shout. And a good shout. Yeah, got too far across. Just for the first time, naked eye. Looked like McCullum got too far across, and that's what Damasina, the umpire from Sri Lanka, said, and there came the index finger to the heavens. They're still out there. And the LBW, McCullum, this is uh, going to be four. Plus, if Malinga can't get round, it's a thick inside edge that races to finally. Well, there's trouble here if he hits me. And that's Taylor in trouble. They've gone upstairs. And the New Zealand skipper, I think, is in trouble here. It was a risky run. He took the bowler on, and I'm pretty sure he'll find he's short of his ground. He's already started to walk off because he knows that uh, he is, after all, well short of his crease. Mendes aimed at the stumps very well short. And uh, look at Ross Taylor. He was reaching, he was struggling. But that's not the start New Zealand wanted. And that's exactly what the Sri Lankans wanted. Get rid of the Kiwi captain, the third umpire, confirms that Ross Taylor is, after all, run out. Oh. Ah, oh, now that is very straight. That has to be. That has to be. That was unnecessary. What was Jacob Oram trying to do? And how many balls has he faced? And, uh, well, that was the quicker one hurried on. 
Now that's a good uh, slot sweep. Gets it to the mid wicket boundary. Now this is a clean shot. Very good shot by Franklin. I think he read it off his arm. That's fine. That will run down to the boundary. So back to back boundaries to end the over. Oh, and that's a good shot. Lifting it over the infield, finding the gap between long on and deep mid wicket. Oh, that's a lovely cover drive from Watling. Shot of the day. Absolute beauty. Oh, that's a lovely pickup from Franklin. That's gone all the way. Effortless. Just helped it on its way. Shots like that. Bowling. Looking to be aggressive once more, Franklin. Gets it to extra cover, picks up the single, and that's a half century for BJ Watling. It's his third consecutive one day international 50 against Sri Lanka. 70 balls, four fours. In the air, and gone! Miss it. Try to go over the top. It's not in his nature, Kane Williamson. And he's perished. Caught by Angela Matthews. Up and over cover. Nice piece of timing. And it beats the fielder. Excellent shot from Watling. And he'll pick up a much needed boundary. Good thinking. Down the ground. The man's up inside the circle. That will race away for four. Second boundary in the over. Oh, it's short. It's hit away hard. It's gone all the way. Wow, oh, that's brute force from Nathan McCullum. Was onto it very quickly. Picked it up over square leg. Cut hard. Oh, it's brilliant shot from Watling. Failed to put it in the dive, but couldn't stop it. Uses yeah. his feet again. Nice piece of time, and that will be four more. That is a very inventive cricket shot. Nice and classical from Watling. Back to back boundaries. Slower ball, and it's picked up through mid wicket. Oh, look at the timing. Again, Watling picks up a boundary. Yeah. Oh, he'll pick up four. This time, a little bit of luck. The inside edge that races away for four. Well bowled again. Oh, look at the timing. This time, he beats cover, and the fielder won't chase it down. Three boundaries in a row. Watling's on fire. And Malinga all of a sudden doesn't have an answer. Another slow ball. How good a shot is that over cover? One bounce for four. Brilliant placement again. Watling moves to 94. Be looking for the boundary. Oh, does he what? Is this going all the way? You betcha. Big blow from Nathan McCullum down the ground. That's as good as it gets. Slow ball. And Watling looking to sweep it on the leg side will run through and get a run and he'll finish 96 not out outstanding innings from the New Zealand opener he has been the rock of the New Zealand batting innings and yeah he gets high fives from Nathan McCallum outstanding partnership between these two partnership of 71 from 36 deliveries and New Zealand have ended up 188 for 6 from their 33 overs and a run rate of 5.70 and an outstanding partnership. So Sri Lanka will need 197 runs to win, thanks to Duckworth Lewis method. From their 33 overs at 5.97 runs per over. Join us after the break for their chase. I think it was it was a great finish to the innings, and now they, they'll bring it. That's that will be infectious. That will rub on them as they come on to field, knowing that they have had a good finish. They're in with an even chance, and these two men, as far as Sri Lanka is concerned, will really have to make sure that they get them off to a start. Kyle Mills. Straight away, a little bit of movement back into the left-hander. What a lovely shot that is from Tilaka Ratnadilshan. Off the mark, in emphatic fashion. Caught in that short cover position. But uh, that's short and cut away into the gap between backward point and cover point. Any width on offer, Dilshan usually takes advantage. Oh, that's where he likes it. That, he loves it there. 
That's another reason why he tends to bat around that leg stump. Oh, that is a clever shot. Very good shot by Ukul Taranga. Once again, short and wide. And that is a beautiful piece of timing from uh, Upal Taranga. Seen nothing more than a push. Oh, what's that off? It's blown over the top of Slip. And it's leg by. It's came off the top of the helmet, I rather fancy. It was definitely off the top of the helmet. To 3,000. Or oh, duck hook. And a wicket. Jacob Oram. And Johnson. Straight down the throat of the man at long leg. And so the earlier in the over. And crunch through the offside again. A little bit of width. And Tilikarat Nadil Shan takes advantage once more. Lot to him quickly. And a top edge. One bounce for four. Fortune favours the brave. Oram with a new over and he's treated with disdain. Mills and Oram. Oh, it's a beauty! The skipper has reached out and grabbed an absolute ripper. Just what New Zealand needed. Sangakara can't believe it. Has to walk back and Taylor's done just what New Zealand needed. Which out. A catch at uh, short third man. The big man Oram gets his mitts around it. And Jai Wardner trying to be a bit cute there with the reverse sweep. Oh, Nathan McCullum lost his grip on that one completely. And it's gone for four. Need to worry. That's a punch off the back foot. They'll be looking for two. And they'll come back for two. That's Dilshan's 20th ODI 50 and his second. 28th ODI 50 and just his second in 20 innings against New Zealand. He hasn't really had a great uh, run making record against New Zealand, but that is uh, to go with his 1300s. Runs and ball. Now, this is how Dilshan made his 50. Sitting it square on the offside. His 28th uh, one day 15 is 250th match. In fact, that was a chance, but Dilshan gets a boundary. And the news those overs. Look, oh, Mills. Oh, Carl Mills down to his left. Big fast bowler. Couldn't get a mitt on it. And that's a much needed boundary for Sri Lanka and Angelo Matthews. And that's a cracking shot by Matthews for four. That's short and wide. Another poor delivery. Gone for four. This has been a very ordinary all for Mills. He's and he goes over a bit off, not entirely off the middle of the bat, but it will run down to the boundary. Clever batting by Angelo Matthews because he, he did see the mid off fields but in the circle. Leo's the dual scoop, it's a weak flick. Flicked away fine for four. Nice way to finish the over, nine from it. Oh, that's uh, played away fine. That'll be four more. And the momentum really running with Sri Lanka at the moment. Short and pulled away. Powerfully struck. And that's the 100 partnership. Oh, Chinese cut. They all count. Four more to Dilshan. Takes him into the 90s. 90 to him now. Starts off with the slower ball, it's worked away to the onside, they've taken one, and that brings Angelo Matthews a half century, and a very fine half century as well. Slower ball, and lofted over cover, and that'll be four. Chen and I get the master. Here we go, this one, yeah, it's gone all the way, look at the celebration! from one of the old timers in his 250th he smoked it for six and gone to three figures oh it doesn't get any better yeah he knows it well played take a bow wonderful stuff there were question marks just before the toss about whether he was going to play he's now at the non-strikers end they're leaning on his back with 100 to his name it's matthews on strike and one to win 
And there it is, carved away through a backward point. The signal is for. And in the end, he made what appeared to be at one stage a very taxing target. Pretty straightforward, along with Angelo Matthews, acknowledging the applause of the spectators. He enjoyed that, didn't he? The summary of the match then, New Zealand 188 for six, a good effort after their innings was uh, twice interrupted. E.J. Watling, a fine hand from him. But Tilika Ratna Dilshan and Angelo Matthews, an excellent partnership of 127. In the end, seeing Sri Lanka to victory with 11 balls to spare.